How's it going there, ladies and gentlemen, bringing you my first Gen 7 custom Pokemon moveset video. If you enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Now, Sailor Stealer. I will say that these custom moveset videos aren't exactly intended to be the ideal catch-all scenario, tried and tested greatest movesets of all time. I think they're good, but the reason I make these videos is not because they are the greatest, it's because they're something different and I think they're fun. Having said that, it is a very effective set, I have tried it, and I'm going to show you guys some footage at the end to try and prove my point. So Sailor Stealer is one of the slower Ultra Beasts, you know, base 61 speed is really not that great. The reason it's good in my opinion is because if you want to run a bulky set with Leech Seed and Protect and Toxic and all that happy shit, that's fine, it's effective, it does it well. But I think the fun way of using it, in my opinion, is something like this. So, substitute air slash flamethrower. Good solid coverage, there's a bit of overlap, but in my opinion, those two moves work best. I've tried flash cannon, I've tried energy ball. Honestly, I think these two are the greatest moves to have. You could say, you know, you're warred by rock types, you're warred by something like heatran, but... I think for the most part, it does hit most stuff quite well. There's a few exceptions like, you know, Lantern, Macargo, Heatran, like I said. But, I reckon it's good. Trust me on that one. So the interesting part of the set is, you know, it doesn't get Calm Mind or Nasty Plot, right? It's not the greatest of move pools. However, Beast Boost will give you a plus one Spatak Boost every time you kill something. Incredibly useful. So we've gone for Modest Nature, Max Max. It just so happens that at Max Speed Modest... One of Totemize will get you above Pheromosa's speed by one point, I think. Don't quote me. So, very convenient speed tier. I mean, you'll hit 440-ish speed. You will outspeed everything except fast Scarfers like Heliolisk. Very nice tier to hit, and it has the bulk to pull it off. Having Substitute on there means you can avoid weaker Skull Burns, like something like Toxapex, for example. You can easily set up on it. Flamethrower and Air Slash, like I said, very nice coverage, that's the best I've found. And Autotomize will basically mean that once you are set up behind a sub, that's an easy speed boost there, and you know, like I said, it has the typing and the bulk to be able to pull it off even without the sub, if you want to do that. Steel Flying is a great typing, like that's the reason Skarmory has been so high up in the tiers for so long. Very, very nice indeed. So I will show you guys a little bit of gameplay, I don't want to just leave you the moveset and say, take my word for it. <laughs> I will show you some gameplay. So I'll cut to some shutdown footage right about now. Okay, so let's get to the footage. So at the time of recording this, there's no actual formal tiers defined by Smoking just yet, right? Game come out fairly recently, they haven't had time to sort them out. Sailor Dealer, I think will settle in OU, it is very good, it's still an Ultra Beast. Like, the only one that's not going to be OU is probably Guzzlord, <laughs> which is a pile of shit. There's probably a useful set for it, stay tuned for that. But here you see my Gigalith goes down to a superpower, I'm going to go straight into Celesteela here. Even if he's not locked into that and he goes for like Fire Punch or something, it really doesn't matter, like he's had his attack lowered. And we have great bulk. So I take the chance to get up and autotomize just in case he went straight into the Zapdos then. Get up a sub, goes to the Zapdos. We basically win that. It's a winning position. It's not meant to be a... set up a shell smash like a Gorbis, for example, and then break walls. It's meant to be the kind of sweeper where everything's already slightly weakened, you may have rocks up already, and from there you just sort of whittle down the last remnants of their team, basically. It's not a hard hitter until you get those boosts, that's pretty much what you got to remember with this thing. But as you can see, Flamethrower Air Slash is going to hit everything on this team neutrally. Flamethrower Flash Cannon wouldn't have done so because we couldn't have hit, you know, any water type. Being such a common type, that's not good. Couldn't hit any fire type, so, like I said, Flamethrower Air Slash, very good combo. So we can easily sub up on the Toxapex. The burn honestly doesn't even matter in this case because Scold, unaffected by it, and it's still not going to break my subs. We can just spam Air Slash to our heart's content now. The speed boost there was just for the Kartana there, which obviously if it came in could break my sub. And we don't want that. So we're going to flinch this thing down. It's Toxapex. I don't feel any sorrow in seeing this thing being flinched to death. And basically as soon as this thing goes down. And he does switch there. Which is 
the smart play, because he knows Beast Boost is going to be the end of him. Goes into Clefable. Again, probably couldn't break my subs. It's a defensive kind of set. Probably only has Moonblast, although I can't confirm that because I didn't see the move set fully in this game. I get lucky. Admittedly, I flinch him down. But that's part of why you use Air Slash, right? It has a chance to miss. It's kind of balanced. Dog Trio comes in. We already have the speed boost. That's not taking a plus one Air Slash. That is a dead Dog Trio, my friends. So here we're facing off against the Swallow, which I have already discovered is special. Gonna go straight into the Cell of Steeler, expecting Boom Burst or Hurricane. So obviously Swellow is going to be quicker before I get up the Autotomize, and if I go for Sub, he'll just hit through it. So go for the Autotomize first. Air Slash just wrecks this thing. Swellow is not a bulky Pokemon. Now we have enough speed to outspeed the Zerker Tree as well, and we have the plus ones per attack, meaning that we can easily take it out from there, otherwise it probably wouldn't. Glycepod comes in. We're bulky enough to take that. You know, who gives a shit what Aqua Jet's going to do? Take that out, and we kill the Boswell and the... Dog Trio from there as well, so that was a GG, my friends. So I hope you all enjoyed this, hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know. Send me your replays on Twitter, I'd be interested to see how you guys do with this moveset. And with that being said, rate, comment, sub, as they said in the olden days, and I will see you later.